Hello, I'm Hannah Wallace and welcome to Finextra. Today we're in Dubai for the SunTech Confluence 2019, where the theme is Digital at the Core. With me now is Nandu Kumar, the CEO of SunTech, and we're going to be talking about the digital vision. Hello, NK. Thank you very much for speaking with us and inviting us to Dubai. Thank you. Thank you for participating in this event. Wonderful to be here. And so, NK, we're talking about the vision of digital. And to start off with then, and thinking strategically, mm -hmm. what should the vision of a bank be in their digital transformation? So um, before I touch upon the bank itself, let me just take a step back. And uh, you know, we have been fortunate in working with multiple industries. And this digital transformation, let us go back and ask fundamentally why we are doing this. It is giving um, a platform for organizations, I'm using the term uh, organization, it could be banks, it could be a telco, it could be a, an Amazon, mm -hmm. is trying to fulfill the basic human needs of some base, very fundamental. They're able to do this at, uh, with the technology in a much more comprehensive manner. So when you look at strategically, what we are looking at is what is the business model which you're going to uh, look at? Are we trying to look at providing the total value to the customer, or am I going to give some special uh, product or services to the customer? Your digital transformation journey is completely based on what strategy you want to follow. It is not that one is good and one is bad. Both are equally important, right? I mean, you need to have specialist uh, capability. Uh, like, for example, let me quote the Google map in the, in the case of an Uber. Without that, the experience is going to be difficult. Right, so someone has to invest on that that core functionality, and someone has to orchestrate the total experience of mobility. So, if you take that for a bank, the strategy of digital transformation is about what is the first first thing is to decide is what is your strategy of the business model, which one, which way you want to go. But as a bank, I would say the biggest opportunity for you is to uh, bring in the entire value uh, chain for the customer and gradually owning the customer need as the beer product offering, rather than just financial services. I strongly believe at some point, the banking will definitely exist. The banks in the current form will not exist. It will become a substrate for the entire ecosystem to conduct the um, transactions, mm -hmm. where the basic, which basically deal with human needs. So that is a 70,000 feet answer. Mm -hmm. If you want to really go down to the specifics, of what I should be doing in the next three to five years is the kind of um, uh, 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 conversation which we are talking about. That means it is not about complete rip and replace from a going down to what should I do to transform. First is the, uh, based on the area which you are going to work on, uh, what kind of product and service which you're going to offer. Let us take a bank is going to focus completely providing good financial products. Let us start with that. If that is the case, you should have the ability to react to the market, the number one requirement. That means it's not about just putting a flexible user interface. That's not going to, functionally also you should be able to do that. Mm -hmm. If your competition is able to provide a better, um, a lo I mean, a cost-effective loan to your customer, are you in a position to do it? If you are not able to, suppose you're going to take more time, you have to take away the frictions of that kind of customer experience to start with where the flexibility of interacting, the user experience is, this is a journey customers have already started doing it, mm -hmm. but it will stop at a, at a level. Next, you really need to make a difference. So if the pr price of your competition is $10 versus yours is $20, and your cost itself is $10, you are completely lost in the market. How do you get to such a situation? I still retain the customer. The only way is partnering. If you cannot, your cost of fund is more than at, uh, market value, you already lost it, but you don't have to lose the customer if you partner with somebody else, mm -hmm. right? So you, you should be able to create next, uh, in the next level is about creating a collaboration uh, mindset within the organization and the technology capability to onboard partners into your ecosystem as quickly as possible. Mm -hmm. So these are the two, um, uh, I mean, on a, Long-term basis is looking at the basic human needs rather than just looking at mortgage, looking at home ownership as your customer's uh, basic need which you're trying to address, mm -hmm. to uh, meeting the financial uh, product which is the mortgage, giving more cost effectivity. This is the spectrum in which you can operate. All right, that's really interesting. And to finish off then, what will be your three main points for a successful bank in the future? 
let me address from the long to short. Number one, look for addressing the basic human needs, not from just functional, but all the way up to the addressing the whole Maslow's uh, uh, theory of hierarchy and addressing both mm -hmm. emotional, uh, life-changing, as well as self-actualization needs. That's a space available to you. The second thing is equipping yourself from an architectural and technology uh, uh, point of view, not only really having the internal flexibility, but also to adapt, I mean, having the external flexibility to partner with any uh, partners mm -hmm. who would be able to give you that urge in the marketplace. And the third and most important thing, equipping your um, staff and creating the internal strength to deal with this change, because this is going to be completely a change. It's the human behavior is going to change, mm -hmm. the way in which you are going to conduct business is going to change. That is the three key points I would leave it. Fantastic, and great advice there. Thank you. Thank you for speaking with us. Thank you. Thank you for having me here. And thank you for watching.